Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, inspiring real women with a passion for fishing and the outdoors to go get their adventure on. Now, here's your host, Angie Scott and Barb Carey. Welcome to the Woman Angler and Adventurer Podcast, and I couldn't be more excited to be up here near Hayward, Wisconsin on the Chippewa Flowage at Deerfoot Lodge with a group of wonderful women that have just kicked Muskie's tails this weekend. And uh, a big thanks to Amanda Wilson, who puts on this Women's Muskie School. I think this is the third year. And uh, man, they rocked it. Five, five Muskies, five Muskies were boated, which is a new record. And uh, Amanda, thank you so much for hosting this. Oh, thank you for being here. It's amazing. And it's amazing to see the support the community has brought forward for this event. So uh, what was your inspiration for starting this whole thing? <laughs> well, two years ago, uh, I was fishing a tournament with a girlfriend of mine, and we boated a 50 and a half inch muskie and won the tournament. And there was a lot of buzz about that. Um, she actually took first place the next year, and we decided that we really wanted to turn it into an event to get more women involved in this crazy sport, because once you catch a muskie, you're addicted. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hear that. And to see some of the videos of some of these musky catches, I can see, I mean, you can just feel the excitement. There's nothing like it. Yes, and we got some great photos and great video this weekend of our ladies catching muskies. <laughs> Gosh, it, it is so cool. How many people, how many women signed up this year? We had 41 participants this year. That's awesome. So if you want to make sure that you follow Deerfoot Lodge Resort on Facebook, you'll be able to get notified next year when she posts this because I can guarantee it's going to sell out fast because there's been so much excitement. Now, who here has caught a muskie? First, there's a f first time muskie <laughs> angler catcher. What's your name? Sarah Priester. Sarah, tell me, what was it like? Uh, it was so exciting. So exciting. I just can't even explain it. <laughs> so were you, uh, w what did you catch it on? On a sucker. So let me see, you're in the boat and all of a sudden you hear this line going click, 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 click. Or Yeah, I mean, Daryl Nybauer, he's a guide. So he was really helpful, I tell you. So he kind of coached me through it and we got it in. So I saw the video and that, rent, that rod looked like it was practically bent in half. Yes, yes. I, and he said to pull as hard as you can, and I pulled. He said, I don't think that was hard enough, but it was. So, <laughs> and we really thought the fish was going to get off there at the end, but we got it netted in time. Yeah. Wow, what, it, what an excitement. I bet your heart was beating 100 miles an hour. Yes, so exciting. How big was it? 44 inches. 44 inches. Now, there was a couple, good job, great job. There was a couple other fish caught. Who else caught a fish? Nicole. Now, Nicole is kind of a uh, social media superstar. She was here as a presenter. And uh, Nicole, introduce yourself for those people that may not have heard of you yet. Um, so my name is Nicole King. I have been muskie fishing for four years now, but I started kayak fishing for muskie two years ago. And it's kind of grown into a huge passion of mine and a huge addiction as well. Well, I know uh, you, during your presentation, you so showed some video of some of your catches. And the footage that you're able to capture is amazing. Um, how how do, can people follow you to look at some of those videos? Um, I, my main posting area is Instagram, and that is Nicole Lynn underscore outdoors. And then I also have a Facebook page, Nicole Lynn Outdoors, as well. And everything from my Instagram pretty much posts right on my Facebook as well. So tell me about the muskie that you caught yesterday and who you were out with. So I was out with Cindy and one other lady, and we were casting shoreline. We found some good green weeds, and I put on a bulldog and was just working it a little bit slower than I normally would, not as big of rips. And this fish followed in into the figure eight, and she went around one full time and hit on the second time around. And the sun was shining down. She was almost glowing the whole time. It was pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, that does sound amazing. How big was that fish? That was 44. Wow, that's probably, is that the biggest one, Amanda, that was caught yesterday? I think so. I think. Tie. Well, oh, oh, tie, 244s. Wow. Well, that's awesome. Now, I think there was a couple other fish caught. Who else caught a fish? Christina Lemke and uh, 
if yeah, speaking of uh, social media, if you want to see pictures of huge flathead catfish in sturgeon, follow Christina Lemke. Uh, how do people follow you, Christina? Um, I have my Facebook page on under Christina Lemke, and then I'm also on Instagram. Uh, it's Woman of the Woods and Waters. Uh, there's underscores in there. I don't know how many. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I got not only my first musty but I got a second. The first one was 24 inch, and I was out with Brenda Meyer and uh, um, her guide service, and then I was out with Musky Chick as well. Um, the first one I took my bobber off. It was on a sucker. Brenda and Musky Chick were casting into the shore, and I take my bobber off and I kind of dropped my line over the side of the boat. I don't know. I'd say two, three feet down, and just kind of watching my line move, um, the, if you could feel the sucker moving around. And I think I missed a bigger fish before the 24. Um, I thought I had a weed, and I kind of just pulled up a little bit, and I didn't, like, set the hook. And Brenda's like, no, your rod tip did this thing. It looked like a fish. And I pulled up. There was no weeds. And then, and then musky chick's like, just drop it. Leave it. Leave it. And um, so I just kind of watched it for a few more minutes, and then it started – going and I'm like I think that's a fish and I just slowly reeled in a little slack and I set the hook and had that wild little 24 and then the 33 they were again casting into the shore for me and um this time I had the bobber on and I was on the same side of the boat this time as them and uh my my, my sucker started going crazy and they're I'm just asking them what do you think should I set it and they're like this is on you so I was just kind of took some slack out and I'm waiting and I'm watching the bobber and my line and then it started to go under and I'm like oh yeah and I just reefed on it and it was fight on and Brenda she's like so fast with the net and it was just the river's beautiful so yeah I'm totally river rat and to get my first muskie and a second and then the scenery and just everything it just fell together and my first year here at the muskie school so it's pretty incredible yeah and then, and then you saw an elk on the way back. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So, actually, one of my bucket list things is to go on an elk hunt. Um, and then for us to see one as we were leaving, um, it was just icing on the cake. Just incredible. Goosebumps. <laughs> That's awesome. Speaking of uh, Brenda Meyer and her guide service, Brenda was also a presenter this year at the class. And it's, uh, she's a guide at True North Guide Service. And she has a kind of a different experience. In fact, I had Brenda on the show once before because she was actually adventurous of the year for kayak deer hunting or something crazy like that. Putting a dead deer in her kayak and bringing it home after she shot it with an arrow. I mean, between that and trapping beavers, I mean, she's like the whole uh, outdoors experience as well. Anyway, that show won first place. So I'm thinking that, you know, come on, Brenda, bring that big juju back here to uh, tell me about uh, True North Guide Service and out on the river muskie fishing. Well, in honor of her award for her podcast on that show, she's got her new beaver socks on today (laughs) that I found. They're not made of beaver. They just have beavers on them, just to clarify. (laughs) They say, damn girl. It's pretty cute. Thought of her when I saw him. But anyway, yeah, um, our little guide service just offers a little different opportunity for people up here. Um, It's not uh, in big boats and running around catching giant fish, but it's a trip down a beautiful stretch of wilderness river or a small wilderness lake and uh, doing some fishing and hopefully catching some fish. And yesterday, the the muskie gods were on our side, and Christina boated her first fish, and it was amazing. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. That, that is a unique experience if you, you know, it's people fish all the time, but the experience with you guys on the, those remote wild rivers where there's no houses and no cell phone service in sight um, is, a, is kind of one of a kind. How, how do they find out more about what trips you offer? Well, you can go to our uh, website, True North Guiding and Outfitters. And <laughs> She's guessing what her website is. We'll, we'll put a link to it in the show notes because uh, she doesn't know what they charge oh, or the website. In the wrong century. Okay. Uh, here we go. True North Guide Service. Uh, here's a brochure if you want to freshen up on your uh, websites. Brenda, always a pleasure talking to you. Now, we do have more celebrities in the house here, and I think we have, I'm not sure, but some type of national champion something. Uh, Muskie Chick's name has come up several times during this podcast. 
and I am standing next to Musky Chick. I watch your, I follow you on Facebook, and you're amazing. And I don't even, what's your real name, Musky Chick? That's just what I've been calling you. Uh, Danielle Jantz. Well, it's a pleasure talking to you. And Danielle, you're a very experienced musky angler, um, and you have a very popular Facebook page. Why don't you introduce yourself to the people that may not have heard of you? Uh, Danielle Jantz, and I've been fishing muskies for a while now. And I was sitting at a Muskie's Inc. banquet, and they said, hey, this gal, and it was pretty cool. They're like, she won and placed, I think it was seventh in the nation, and she caught this many muskies. And I'm like, I usually catch about that many a year. They have something going on. I'm kind of kind of like some of the other people who don't watch a lot of TV and don't get as involved. And I'm like, I'm going to try that next year. I'm going to enter. And the first year I registered my fish, I actually happened to get fifth in the nation internationally. I think I placed the most in Minnesota. I'm near the Lake Vermilion area, and then I also got 10th for the largest fish, so I was kind of kind of surprised by that, and I really thought women need to get out there more, and that's kind of what I want to push and why I went on Facebook. I don't want notoriety, but I'd like women to get out there, because at one point in my life, I went, I'm single, I need to go fishing, how am I going to do this? I'm not waiting for someone else. I don't want to wait, so I bought a boat, and I went. And now I want to promote others to do that because it's really intimidating. But once you get out there, it's not that hard and it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. I've said it many times, you know, fishing just kind of brings so many life skills and lessons. And, you, you know, you, you, you go fishing for a while, you end up getting taller and full of more confidence. And I'm sure you see that, too. And um, what is it about muskies? It seems like muskies is your jam. What's up with that? I was brought up with northerns and wallas and all that stuff, but the first time I saw a muskie, it's the challenge. It's the cat and mouse. Like, they don't make it easy. They make you work for it, and they flick you off with their tail quite a bit with that little splash in the water as they miss your lure and swim off. It's just kind of fun. It's like, all right, game on. <laughs> well, credit to you guys, uh, muskie gals. You know, I try to muskie fish, and I like it, but I have the patience of a gnat, and after about an hour, I'm like, all right, what else is around here? So hats off to you. I mean, I like it. I think if I caught more, I think I got to start going out with some guys or Amanda or Brenda or you. And maybe if I catch a couple, I'd get the bug a little more. But uh, they're so few and far between with me that it's kind of, I lose my patience. So I'm sure that's kind of a common theme. So who else? Anyone else here? Wasn't there one more person that caught a fish? Cindy. Cindy. And Cindy, it now, when I look at Cindy, I mean, you're amazing. She, I learned, I fished with her last year very briefly. Cindy, for those that you don't, she probably doesn't have a big Facebook page or a guide service or a big following, but she probably knows more about musky fishing than anybody in this building, I would say, be safe to say. And Cindy, it's a pleasure to, yeah, well, you should, Cindy. How long have you been musky fishing? I would be telling my age. <laughs> Four, Forty some years. Forty some years. And uh, how did you get into it? Actually, my sister-in-law started me musky fishing. We were 16. Oh, really? Well, I guess I have to go more than 45. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all, we musky fi- that's all we did was musky fish. Really? That's just kind of, was it your family did it? or is she? No, your, fam- her family did it. But she wasn't my sister-in-law at the time. Oh. But we were all good friends at that time. So, I mean, my first rod was 10 bucks from Kmart, and it was this tall. Oh, hilarious. A Kmart rod. Not too many can, people can say they had a Kmart rod, can yeah. they? I still have that rod hanging on the wall. Really? Yep. So, in your lifetime, how many muskies do you think you've caught? I don't know. It's not thousands and thousands, but it's Lots. hands, handful. In, how about in the last year? Oh, almost 20. Wow. Yeah. I've been out that much. Yeah. So um, not only do you fish, how, how often do you fish? Like some people, this is their once a year musky outing. How often do you actually go out musky fishing? We try to go out once or twice a week. Okay. And then uh, you also make baits and make leaders and that kind of stuff? I Tell me about that. I got interested in the leader making because it was always you had to go out and buy a leader. You catch a fish on a wire leader. You you messed it up or bent it so you had to start replacing it so I started wanting to learn how to make them and I had we went out we go out with guides you know quite often early on we still go out with some once a year we try to 
And uh, so I started asking them, and they told me what to get, and they sat now in the boat and showed me how to do it. So i am been very fortunate like that, but I'm always willing to learn something. The baits, my cousin's husband is a huge fly fisherman, and he said, <clears throat> just, just start doing it. So I bought all the stuff he told me to do, and you never can have enough stuff. That's what they say. <laughs> and so over the years, I've accumulated quite a bit of stuff. So I enjoy making baits. So if I wreck them, because I would cut the hooks out of a fish, everything would fall to the floor of the boat. And I'm like, oh, my God, what, how are you going to put this back together? So then I started researching it. Huh? And I started so, doing it. So like spinner baits and stuff? I make spinner baits. We pour the molds for it, make all our crappie baits because we lose so many on the flowage. And um, then just start making the spinner baits, the bucktails, whatever. What's your biggest muskie you ever caught? 49 and a half. Oh, 49 and a half, so close. And uh, is that a goal of yours to break 50? I'd like to. Yeah. I will, eventually. What's your favorite body of water to muskie fish? Flowage. Yeah. Chippewa flowage. It is a special body of water, that's for sure. How many acres is this, Amanda? The lake itself is 15,300 acres, and when you include all the islands, it's 17,000. Wow, you know, it is an amazing place, and Wisconsin Women Fish does come up here um, every spring to go crappie fishing. I mean, we're catching 13, 14-inch crappies, and lots of them. It is so much fun. Make sure to check over wiwomenfish.com for that spring event. A lot of the gals here, I mean, we've been marking cribs on our side imaging, so we have all sorts of new spots to go this year. Amanda, another great successful event. Thank you so much. And do you have the dates for next year's events yet? We sure do. It's that third weekend of October again. It'll be October 17th through the 19th, 2020. Wow. And uh, put it on your calendar now. We'll put links in the show notes to Deerfoot Lodge and Wisconsin Women Fish and True North Guide Service. And for every woman we talk to that has a social media page, we'll try to include that. And thanks to all the ladies who came to the Muskie Fishing School. And thank you for um, liking the Woman Angler and Adventure and subscribing. And uh, this show should be out in two weeks. So thank you so much.